Let me tell you why I'm absolutely furious. So I was looking at my old high school's Wikipedia page and they have like a specific section with famous alumni. And do you know who's not on there? Me! So as you understand today, we are changing that. Because let's at first take a look at the people who are actually on there. And not to be salty, but I have no clue who they are. So they must not have that many TikTok followers, if you think about it. Unlock! I unlock things with my watch, it's pretty cool. Okay, this is not gonna make any sense to anyone ever, but my heating system just made a sound that sounds like that bong sound that Netflix does when Whenever you start watching something and I wish that there was someone here to share that with me. Whoa! System preferences is trying to unlock security and privacy settings. Approve with your Apple Watch? Oh my god, I didn't know it did that! Alright, let's take a look at my uh, high school's very lame Wikipedia page. Of course it's in Dutch, so I'm gonna have to translate it. It's like blah blah blah, Christian school. Blah blah blah, it's in Groningen. Blah blah blah, they got a thing called Athenaeum Plus, which is just a thing where you add three classes like drama, Spanish, and philosophy, which I would have actually liked, but I I didn't do that specific like level of education. But here's the thing, known alumni, which are three people, two politicians and a journalist. Old people too. They had old people on there and not me. We're gonna take a look, of course. And we're gonna go from oldest to newest, or youngest really. I mean newest to be fair, <coughs> pardon. So the oldest is a journalist called Paulina Brukema. I'm gonna be real with you, I don't know her. She was a journalist for National News, really? So what did she make? Okay, I don't know that, I don't know that, I don't know that, I don't know that. They say that her famous, most famous thing is Het Bos House, translating to the forest house, I guess. Second one, Koos Viersma, a politician, an old politician. Imagine if they were to look at this and they'd be like, yeah, thanks bro. The CDA party, which is a Christian party. And I don't like parties that have a religious backbone. Hank Nyboer. He is younger. He is younger than my mom. He has like nothing on his page though. Okay, he was a politician, or he is a politician, but from what party? PVDA. There's not a lot of information about these people. But look at that button right there. Edit? I can edit this? <laughs> All right, let's do this, fellas. Edit. It does say something along the lines of, you're not signed in, that's why. We're gonna show your IP address publicly when you edit something. Yeah, okay, we're not doing that. Okay, yeah, I have an account. I think I have an account. Oh, well, will you look at that? Apparently, I've never made an account. Are they gonna check that I've added myself to my fake disposable emails? Hey, where's my screen recorder? Okay, I'm sorry, what is even the world? So I pulled out my old fake email address that I used to like, for you know, for trolly weird things. First thing I see is that some one tried to create an IMVU account with the name Jesteni9162. Then I tried to register an account on Wikipedia with the username Mike Daberton, and it says it's in use. <laughs> Who made who made a Mike Daberton? What? <laughs> what if I make it Mikey D? In use, Mikey Dab? Mike Daberton? Is there actually someone whose name is Mike Daberton? That is wonderful. <laughs> Look, 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 look. I added myself, Quinton and Hyde, my birth year, and as my thing, as what I am, I added Internet Star. <laughs> I put myself at the top because it seems to be like in order of like birth and I'm not sure if that's the case But like when I click it, I'm sure check here if there might be already a page about this Trust me. There is no page about me if you want you can write a new article down below Wait, I can just write an entirely new article <laughs> All right, here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna be writing an article about me I'm gonna write it in Dutch because you know, it's linked to that thing <laughs> People like oh, I want the people from my old school to watch like to read that and be like wait Who's that and I was like wait, there's that Quinton guy because all the teachers still remember me. Oh, yeah I'm gonna write it in Dutch and I'm gonna translate it when I show you. It's gonna take a while because typing takes a long time. I'll be right back. I am ashamed to tell you how long this took. Oh my god, the sun has set. <laughs> But it is amazing. I'm gonna show you. I'm so happy. Let's take a look. So when you're now on my old school's um, Wikipedia page, and you scroll to the bottom, famous alumni, Quinton Hyde, internet star, and when you click it, you go to the Quinton Hyde Wikipedia page. Wait, what? This page has been nominated to be deleted? What? It looks a lot like self-promotion. No! No, you can't do that. I spent so long on this. How dare you? Now that it's still there, let's do this. I'll, I'll fix that later. Quinton Hyde, born as Quinton von is a Dutch internet star that grew big on TikTok, a platform on which you post short videos, lip syncs, and comedic videos. He was born on the 10th of July, 1997, in Groningen, the Netherlands, and this is where he grew up all of his life. He lived in Amsterdam for half a year for his study, and ever since he has spoken about his wish to return to this place. Hyde has had an affinity with media ever since he was little, and has always had the wish to make this into his career. Not until 2019 did this wish seem closer than ever before. 
It's so touching. Biography. From the start, Hyde was never like the other children. Quickly, doctors had figured out that he suffers from Asperger's syndrome, a lighter form of autism. You're actually gonna be learning a lot about me because of this. Which caused his view on the world to be different and his communication abilities to be lacking. But it might be this very other view of the world that made Quentin find success on the internet. <laughs> Family. In 1997, Hyde arrived in the world, born out of the parents Linda Isis and Frank van der Heide, in the hospital in Groningen. Two years later, the pair divorced and Quinton was brought along with his mother, after which they would live with his grandparents for several months before moving to the place he pretty much spent his entire life at. A few years later, both of his parents had found new partners and Quinton was surprised with the arrival of his half-brother Ruben, born on his father's side. A year or so later, his half-sister Dominique came to the world on his mother's side and he eventually his final half-sister Elena again at his father's side. Just like every brother and sister, Hyde would often argue with his brother and sisters. Well, wow, that was an awful sentence. But despite all this, they maintained an amazing bond. Study. After finishing his time at the local elementary school, Hyde went on to study at <laughs> then the name of my school. During this time, Quinton was formed to be the media lover that he is today. During his study at this school, he often changed his mind about what he wanted to do, but online media kept returning into his mind. Despite the heavy pubescent times and the great amount of stress that he got from high school and especially the huge amount of work that kids nowadays get told to do. Gotcha. It's insane. Quentin had a great time at this school. The school put a lot of emphasis on what the children would be doing after they would graduate and they were allowed to pick a study. Despite all this, Hyde never really got any value for this and his initiative to choose the media fully came from himself. The test that the school made him do actually told him that he had to study Russiaology or become a spiritual leader in a mosque despite Hyde's agnostic way of thinking. This is actually true by the way. Every Everything about this is true. After he finished his time at the school, Quinton went on to study communication and multimedia design at the NHL Stenden University of Applied Sciences in the city Leeuwarden. During the study, Hyde went through different levels of media to discover what he wanted to do most, after which he quickly settled on web content production and social media marketing, or in short, creating videos on the internet. And then a little bit more about how cool I am and how I graduated really quickly and stuff, you know? Oh, wait, is that the re Yeah, okay, I'm starting to see their point. Or maybe it's because I put all of my social media links at the bottom of the page. No, I'll remove those in a second, maybe. Yeah. It's hard to say when Quentin Hyde actually started being on the internet. As a young child, he would occasionally make videos on YouTube with the children in his neighborhood. Later, this translated over into a YouTube channel fully about the game Minecraft. This channel does no longer exist. In 2014, Quentin Hyde started yet another channel on which he placed short comedic videos. During this time, he made videos under the name Lightfeather, which a few years later changed into the Anglification of his name, Quentin Hyde. The content also shifted, and now he makes videos in which he brings his craziest ideas to life. These ideas he refers to as his shenanigan. <laughs> I do that. You're, if you've seen me before, you're like, ah, he, he does that. Yeah, that does sound like an ad, doesn't it? How did they spot that so quickly? During the end of 2018, Hyde started making videos on the platform TikTok, after which he quickly got a larger amount of followers. This both raised his awareness and also grew his other media, including YouTube, amongst the 13 to 17 year old target audience. Now Quinton travels across the land, <laughs> sounds like a Pokemon intro, <laughs> to events like meetups in which viewers and video creators come together and movie premieres. A little bit more than half a year after starting his TikTok career, Hyde was spotted by the company Creator Network, a Dutch management and marketing company that manages the Benelux TikTokers. This company is partly responsible for the events Quinton gets invited to and the opportunities presented to him. And then a bunch of my links. <laughs> Wait, someone actually manually flagged my video. This seems a lot like self-promotion to me. There's no sources. What kind of sources are you expecting from me? Dirk. You really have nothing better to do than to flag other people's Wikipedia pages. Dirk. 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 Regardless, I'm now listed as a famous alumnus. <laughs> Hello, Mickey. You want to know what I did for a video? I don't, but you want views, so go ahead. <laughs> you know how Wikipedia, when you like Google a school on Wikipedia, um, it often has like a section with famous alumni. You put yourself in your school's famous alumni. Yeah. So on my high school, I'm now part of the four famous alum. Two politicians four. and a journalist. People that actually do something with their life and then you. No, 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 because no one knows them. But Only they all know me. people know you. I have TikTok followers, so you know what I'm saying. Okay, can someone in the room just hit him? Ah! Thank you! He got taken out of the wiki alum, by the way. No, my, my personal <laughs> Wikipedia page got flagged for self-promotion and scam. <laughs> <laughs> Your own Wikipedia page that you clearly made yourself. Yeah. 
for self-promotion. Why does that fit so well? If you're curious about the time that I pretended to be a hot e-girl on Tinder, you can click right there or the link down below in the description. I post a video every Wednesday. And every video basically is this crazy shenanigan idea that I bring to life to hopefully entertain you, but to also show you that it's okay to have these kind of crazy ideas and to actually make them happen. Bottom of all, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to see you next time.